Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're well. Uh, it's a cold September morning today and I'm going to show you how we can repair red mirror soles on Christiane Louboutins. Okay, so as I say, the job we've got today is these Christian Louboutin sandals, cheeky leopard print, and the red mirror soles worn out. I mean, it's funny, you pay hundreds of pounds for these shoes and they only last a few wears really, so you've got to have cash to burn for these. But um, you can send them back to Louboutin for a um, factory finish repair, but that may take, you know, several weeks or a month or so. I'm gonna show you how we can do a quick fix here in the shop. Keep watching. Okay, so to start the job, what I've done is put down a nice clean paper bag just to keep the shoes safe and away from any ink or glue that might be on the counter because these delicate shoes, we want to keep everything neat and tidy. Now, we've got here our new mirror soles and they're half soles, so we're just going to go from the waist upwards. We're going to take our first sole, marry it up on the shoe, make sure it's covering the area of the shoe we want to resole. Hold it down firm and flat and just make a very neat mark with a pen. Now we need to make sure everything we do on here is very accurate and very neat because it's red. We can't paint it black or polish it black afterwards to hide any imperfections. So now that we've got our line, I'm going to take it over to the machine, sand very delicately the area that we want to uh, put our sole on so that we can put glue onto it and the glue is going to stick to the rough sanded area. Okay, cool, so that's our shoe all prepared, ready for the new sole to go on. Uh, what I didn't show you was I just had to sand the bottoms of our new soles to make them rough because they come dead shiny from the factory, which makes the glue struggle to stick to it. So we're just gonna take our rubber glue, contact adhesive, and apply a thin layer onto the shoe, and then a thin layer onto the sole. This actually takes me back a little bit as I, uh, I remember I bought a pair of these for an old girlfriend I was dating a couple of years ago and uh, she wore them out for the first time on a night out to a bar with cheap drinks and a sticky floor and wondered why the next day they were absolutely trashed. And she wanted a new pair and I was like, you're not having a new pair. So if you're dumb enough like me to buy your partner a pair of expensive shoes and they want some new ones, don't do it. Bring them to your friendly neighborhood cobbler and have some nice mirror soles put on them. Gets you out of a sticky situation. And once we've finished gluing up the base of our shoe and our new soles, we let the glue dry for a bit. And once it's gone off, we then pop it in our heat lamp, which activates the glue, and then we can gently stick it all together. So there's our mirror sole on, but obviously there's some excess that we need to cut off. So I'm just going to take my knife and very carefully on these, cut through the sole. Now, uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier is, obviously the Louboutins are well known for their shiny red finish, but um, the finish that they have is, is printed paper and that's why it wears out so quickly. And what we're putting on here is rubber. It's shiny red, but it's still rubber, so it's gonna last more than one wear. So, now that we've cut off the majority of our excess, we just need to head over to the machine and use the mini sander to get a real smooth, neat finish on the edge before we then um, come to finish the edges in black with some edging ink. So 
So of course what I'm doing here is just inking around our bare sanded edge with our black ink. Now, I would do this a lot faster usually, but I'm being ever so delicate because obviously I don't want to get any ink on the red sole, but uh, we can always remove it afterwards, but it's nice to get it done in one shot. Okay guys, so I'm just letting the ink dry on those Louboutins before I finish them up entirely. And while I've got a minute, I thought I'd show you something different. Of course, all I show you is the shoe repairs, but what I don't show you is that I'm, I'm very busy in this shop doing all sorts of different jobs. And I've just had something weird come in. It's a uh, turf cutter, which needs sharpening up, or rather it has no blade from brand new, and we're gonna make a blade for it. So what I'm gonna do is just give that a quick blast on the machine and show you. All right, so there's that little side job done, and now back to the main event. We're basically done. All we're gonna do is clean up the bottom of these soles, just get any of the infections off. Um, you know, there's just a bit of grub on them from the factory of delivery. Um, so I've just got our Saphir Gentle Cleanser here, which is perfect to any delicate jobs. So I'm just gonna open it up, grab us a fresh piece of J cloth, or if you want to be particular, a microfiber cloth, but this will do just fine for giving it the once over. That's it, I'm just gonna pick on any little bits that I wanna get off. And then after I've done this, I'm just gonna run around the edge of the shoe with some clear spray to give it a nice finishing touch, and we're done. Okay, cool, job done on our red mirror soles on these cheeky leopard print Louboutin sandals. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I enjoyed doing that repair for you today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm doing new videos every week. Uh, if you're one of my regulars, thanks again for checking out the video. Hit like if you made it all the way to the end and I'll catch you next time.